We'll do the honorable mentions, and then we'll hop into the top ten. So um, we'll kind of maybe briefly say something, but some of them we have more to say than others. But um, that the ones that aren't on the top ten is first is Reba McIntyre stronger than the truth. She proved that traditional country is very alive and well, as we talked about in previous episodes. She's like, I'm kind of tired of this pop stuff, and I want to go back traditional. And she released an amazing traditional. She has like honky tonk dance music on top of you know, the the Reba ballads you know and love, and it's just an amazing fucking album. Yeah, and and it's so, I don't know, I feel like it's so awesome that she can come out with an album like this that is just a straight-up country album. Yeah. And it will do well, and people will talk about it as being a great album, uh, because in the current day and age, you know, she could have very well fucking Rodney Atkins herself and just made a big old bag of dicks and sold a bunch of it because it's her, it's her, it's Reba. And she probably could have sold just an ass load of really garbage, but she didn't. And I really appreciate that yeah. about her. And it was like, I think the week after her album came out or something, uh, they showed that like the top three selling albums on iTunes were her, George Strait, and Brooks and Dunn. It's just like, oh yeah, people don't want old country music. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, what year is it? Yeah, um, but yeah, so that's a great album. Uh, next is nope, that one's on the top ten. Uh, <laughs> next is the uh, infamous String Dusters, Rose Sun. I believe that's what it's called, unless I t- typed it in wrong. But they're a bluegrass band. They were very tough for me to leave off of the uh, the top ten because they are a phenomenal bluegrass band and that is an album you should 100 percent check out um i like green grass shut the fuck up dale <laughs> sorry i'm just going through and deleting the ones that are going to be on the list off of my fucking current list um next up is brooks and dunn's reboot it's on there mostly just because it's old brooks and dunn songs that you like it's just they feature new artists even some shitty ones that aren't too bad on it because they're singing Brooks and Dunn songs. So, yep. But um, also fuck them. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck them. Uh, da, 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 da. all right. Next up is Driftwood's tree of shade. They're just a very traditional band that uh, plays good country music. And I don't have too much to say about them. Uh, it's one that I have. Yeah. I know that I heard, much. I heard something by them and I can't remember what it is, but yeah. Yeah, they're good, exactly. but yeah, they're not one that I know too much about. Uh, next up is David Quinn's Wandering Fool. It's another one that's, he's like a very folky kind of sounding guy, and uh, it's just a really good one as well. Uh, then Abigail Dowd, uh, Not What I Seem, another, she's very kind of folky, and it's great. Uh, next is Aaron Lewis's State I'm In. This one I left off the top ten because even though there are some songs on there that I love, there's just some that are really bad, and then just there are ten albums I like more than this one. And I, I still feel like, yes, there are some stupid songs, but I don't know if I would even say that any of them are bad, you know? Oh, no, they're not They're not bad. It's just they're – I mean, I guess they're kind of hokey bad. Kind exactly, of. and I, I don't – I don't know. I still think there's a lot of value in the fact that he has such a country sound. And I know that I'm a homer, and anyone who's listened to our podcast knows that I am a homer for Aaron Lewis because Stained is one of my favorite bands ever. Yeah. Um, but when I listen to this album, like he has a straight-up country sound throughout the entire thing. And there's a lot of people nowadays who just don't make country music, so I really respect that. On top of the fact that he's got some songs on there that I really absolutely love, and so I look at it from that perspective like there's several that i think are fucking tremendous there's a bunch that i think are pretty yeah. good and like, there's a couple that are like all right i'm not gonna listen to that song unless i'm hammered but it's a country yeah. song it's so i was gonna make a meme of just like oh my like a rolling eyes meme at like oh this stupid Aaron lewis but then like god and guns comes on and it's just like the guy in front of the tornado holding the flag and a shotgun like yeah. <laughs> exactly because it's, it's like, it may be very stupid but it's a it's a fucking country song <laughs> like I like it, I like it better than uh, Justin Moore's Guns. Like I thought that was yeah. an awful song, but this one, I mean, it's bad, yeah. but it's still entertaining. Like it's and, dumb, but, but I understand what he's saying. You yeah. know, well, yeah, because because <laughs> it's like you'll never take my God and you'll never take my guns, like type of thing. It's a very whole, like come and get them type song. And out uh, of my cold dead hands, God damn it. Mm-hmm. And um, 
Yeah, it's it's a it's entertaining like that. It's just like when I listen to it, it's not even the song that I think about. It's that time we saw him at Joe's bar when he was just like Obama and Al Qaeda, but I can't tell the difference. It's just like, oh come on, like that fucking like Uber conservative. Yeah, he, does, he goes bullshit. a little overboard. He goes a little yeah. overboard. But, but yeah, it's a uh, definitely a good album worth checking out. Hence why it's on the list. But yeah, it's just there are ten more that I like a lot more than it. But. You yeah, what? Um, next is Sarah Evans, the Barker Family Band. That's the one I talked about. It's like seven tracks or something, and she, it's actually I was listening to it, and it's definitely very country. It's very good, but it has a lot of it has a couple covers on it. Like she does a version of "Somewhere Over the Rainbow," and hmm. uh, what the hell's that song? Like you make me feel like a natural woman. I don't know, something like that. But you make me feel. Let's see, uh, fucking. Oh God, why can't it's it's not. Is it Aretha Franklin? It's not Aretha Franklin, is it? I'm not it's sure. Fucking, I, I yeah. just know it's a cover. It's yeah, no, it's like Gladys Knight, Aretha Franklin, one one of those type legendary uh, soulful black woman singer did that song. Can't remember who actually does it, but uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm getting poor connection from you. You're a um, poor connection. Fuck you, Gummy. That's really when you said "fuck you, Gumby," it froze, and so it's just like you're a poor connection. Fuck Gumby. <laughs> <laughs> how do you know that's not how I said it? <laughs> it's true. I don't know. I don't know. Um, but anyway, next up is a Son of Cloud self-titled album. They're a very they're like our country, but then I listen to them, and there's just a whole bunch of like instrumental kind of folky alternative type songs on there too. Mm-hmm. It's, it's really good, but we're, and we're checking out though. Uh, Andrew Hyatt, Respect. Abel, as I said last week, it's an EP that he put out where it's like a partner with Kane, but the Kane track one is not good. It's bro country, but this one is a very good folky EP and stuff and worth checking out. Yeah, I heard a couple songs off of it, or maybe just one. I can't fucking remember, but <laughs> I really like the sound. It was yeah. one of those where I, I could for sure feel what you were saying is that the, the contrast between the other one is just fucking mm-hmm. yeah, well yeah. done. Yeah, so Abel's definitely worth checking out. Um, next is Dean Brody's Black Sheep. This one came out last week. Um, it's very he's very, he's di- he's like it's weird that he went from like up on the moon and gravity to now he's just trying to kind of not I don't want to diss him or anything, but it's like kind of a stay relevant type thing. Where oh, he's, I will diss the shit out of him because his song "Beautiful Freak Show" oh, that's a is an song. abortion it's, of it's, a fucking song. This EP is mu- it's definitely better than that. It is not. It's be- hard freak show, to get yeah. worse than that yeah. because that was one of the worst things any human yeah. has ever recorded in the history of humans or recording. <laughs> Yeah, this one it's a uh, very like a contemporary country, but it's not overboardly yeah, that pop. Word scares me. Yeah, I know. It's 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 not great, but it's not bad. So that's why I included it on there. It's worth listening to, but it's definitely if we were to rank every album that came out, it would be last place. All right, I, I will give him the honorary way to not shit into my eyeballs, Dean Brody. <laughs> yeah, I mean, no song will ever beat "Up on the Moon." That song is just amazing. it's a great I song. Think. Yeah, <laughs> it's so it's so hilarious because I did not know of that song. Like I maybe have heard it like in passing, but never really new and then i heard this fucking beautiful freak show song and you're just like oh that's so disappointing because up on the moon's great i'm like you're telling me that this fucking guy made a good song and then i heard it, i'm like wow this yeah. fucking guy up did the, make a good up song on the moon is an amazing fucking song. it's I so good one, i listen to that one a lot like how does someone go from that like it it doesn't make any sense to me yeah I don't like know. how i don't i don't know did everyone that he knows and loves in life die? And he's just like, well, got to change everything. Yeah, right. Um, I think it's. I think it was more of a he doesn't want to fall behind, so he's just catching up with all the trends. And yeah, he was like, I'm either going to have to go work at Burger King or make a garbage song. <laughs> exactly. Um, <laughs> next up is Jack Ingram's Riding High Again. I love this album. It was very close to being on my top ten because I love that he went from that like stuck up douchebag who's just like I'm everywhere you are or wherever you are, whatever that song is. That and I was literally remember. about to say, speaking of a guy who I completely wrote off as being garbage. Uh huh. Exactly. And then because this one and his previous one, I love how they're recorded where it makes it seem like it's just one jam session like in a room because you hear the talking and like the all right here let's go to the next one and he even says like the name of a song at the start when the like the tick 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 
t- like of the drumsticks. Yeah, like, like yeah, we're down doing this. And yeah. yeah, and he's like, we're doing this song. Like, it's so cool. I mean, obviously, I'm sure they're all recorded separately in an actual studio, but he makes it sound like they're just in a room re- with like a recorder in the center of the room, and that's how they're doing it. And it's really cool. And then he also has a version. Or, I mean, he wrote the song with. Or did he write it with Maria Lambert? I'm not sure. But he has his version of Tin Man on the album, and it's really good. I mean, I think I like Miranda just because she has a better voice. Yeah. But it's also a very good one. And I just love that, yeah. Because what I still remember I wrote him off when we saw him at Country Beatdown that one year because he w- he came out and he like finished with Wherever You – is that what it's called? Wherever You Are? I don't, I don't know. Or fucking know. But he also has like fucking uh, – uh, Barefoot, barefoot and crazy. Bare, yeah, that one. Barefoot and crazy gives so, me cancer. Yeah, so I wrote him off, but then his last two albums have just been Stone Cold Country. I'm like, all right, yeah. this guy's awesome. He's still wanting to do what he wants to do. And I'm awesome. legitimately surprised, and I want to know why. I want to know why he made the garbage and why he came I back. Feel like, I feel like it was he was popular, so he did what he was told, and when he fell off the radar, he's like, all right, fine, fuck it. I'll do what I want then. If I'm not going to try and chase these stupid... Uh, fads you want me to chase i'm gonna make what i want no mm. one's listening anyway so i feel i mean not no one's listening obviously he's a, actually he's playing it's around here somewhere i don't know boof oh, right. hold on my dogs are wrestling i'm gonna close the door boof <laughs> woof boof woof boof barf, 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 barf. Barf, barf, barf. <laughs> um oops, hit the mic all right but yeah, so I'm I'm really happy. That it's actually it wasn't Jack Ingram. It's Phil Vassar is coming here soon, and I want to see him. But it's this. But it's a Sunday night, and Game of Thrones is on. So I can't. Game of Thrones because it's Phil Vassar and David Nail, who I would love to go to that concert, and because it, it's in St. Charles, so I would love <laughs> to go to it. But it's uh yeah, it's a Sunday night, and I'll be watching Game of Thrones. Um, yas, yas queen, yas queen. Oh shit! What did I do? You broke. Everything. I accidentally deleted the podcast. Or not the podcast, the the, uh, the list. I was like, the entire podcast is deleted? <laughs> yep. Um, oh my god. <laughs> he ate them. Now they're gonna eat me. Oh my god. <laughs> Neil Bog is goblin spelled backwards. <laughs> Neil Bog is goblin spelled backwards. <laughs> anyway. Um, next up is Josh Ritter's Fever Breaks. This is another amazing folk, traditional country sounding album. Produced in there. by Jason Isbell. Oh, that's right. I forgot about that. Yeah. Yeah, it's but, really yeah, good. It's a, uh, yeah, it's really good. Um, next is Tyler and the Train Robbers, Best of the Worst Kind. They're a very old school sounding country band. Uh, very good. I, it was actually one that I found out about because I got a press release about their album coming out and... And it wasn't from Average Joe, so it didn't feature Colt Ford, so I knew it was worth checking out. I um, would really like it if Colt Ford was sent into the sun. <laughs> He'd be rapping the whole way there. No, like, uh, like you know when Elon Musk sent a car into space? I wish that was Colt Ford. It'd be funny if you saw like the headline like Tesla launching Colt Ford into space. <laughs> Just, like, Except for the ar- the article title would be uh, Elon Musk saves us all from garbage raining from the sky. <laughs> and if someone is listening to this right now and they're one of those motherfucking Colt Ford apologists, we're like, yeah, but he has that one song that features that one person who doesn't suck ass. Fuck you and everything you stand for. Colt Ford is an abomination. No, what you're talking about. He's as good as the lax. Um, he is as good as the lax, which is as good <laughs> as cancer of the eyes, ears, and anus. I mean, that anus cancer, it's <laughs> serious. Um, anyway, next, <laughs> finally, of uh, the honorable mentions is Bridge 19 in the Afterglow. They're a very good. I uh, listened to a couple of their songs, and I really like their songs. Oh, yeah. They're really fucking good. Uh, it was a tough, like, I, it was so tough getting a top 10 out of these because since we do put out the best of the month every week, it's so hard just to get 10 out of it. Yeah, I was just shuffling through the playlist, trying to, like, hear as much as I could before we recorded. I'm like, huh, look at that. Yeah, they're fucking great. 